Tonight we will be reviewing the Next Hole Captain. And I want to review this against the Leatherman Wave and the Leatherman Surge because I feel like it's trying to compete against both and it's falling somewhere in the middle. Now, when you look purely at the frame size of the Next Tool Captain, it is actually larger than the Leatherman Wave, but it is a little bit smaller in frame size than the Leatherman Surge, just a hair but it is a little bit smaller. Now, when you open up the next tool captain, that is when it gets interesting because it is essentially the same exact size as the Leatherman wave. My wave's been shortened, the pliers have been a little bit. And so it's essentially the same size as the Leatherman wave and it's even got a similar plier head. So you can see where the plier heads are fairly similar in thickness. They are both replaceable. You will notice that the Next Tool Captain is actually different than both the Wave and the Surge in that it is spring load pliers. I actually like that the uh, Surge and Wave don't have spring loaded pliers, but I don't mind spring loaded pliers. They're okay as well. Now, when we compare this to the Next Tool, to the Leatherman Surge, the Next Tool Captain, it is a lot smaller when it's open. So it is very drastically different that way. And then when you compare the plier heads, it is a lot thinner. It doesn't look near the same as the Surge either. So if Next Tool wants to make a Surge, it would be unique to see a larger plier head and see what they would come up with. All right, so let's look at the outside tools. And when we look at the outside tools, they will fall again around the, uh, the middle mark, almost to some extent. Now, they'll be perhaps a little closer to the Leatherman Surge, but it's, it's so hard to say because the, the sizes just aren't that different. So here we have the, the knife right here. And let's see if I can match this up. So it's almost the same size actually as the Surge. And then when we look at, compare the knife to the Leatherman, whoops, Wave as well, it is, there is a difference. So you can tell it's definitely a little bit longer than the Leatherman Wave. And that will hold true with a lot of the other implements, well, all the implements on the outside as well. So there is a nice diamond file. It's got cutting teeth on the bottom, and then you've got the file on this side. You've got a saw as well, and then you have a pair of scissors. Now, in my last video, I was critical of these pair of scissors, but since I have retested them, and they actually work very well depending on where you use them to cut. So for instance, in the last video, I think I cut about right here and I was having an issue right in this middle part, but if you go and cut at the bottom, then they are fine. And I think perhaps I have found that in some other tools as well. But anyway, so the scissors are actually pretty good. I just managed to hit probably one of the dullest places on the scissors and that's unfortunately where the issue was but these are very nice scissors as well so the outside implements are a little bit longer than the wave they're about the same size as the surge and then when you get to the inside implements they're fairly similar they're actually a little bit more similar to the surge in that they have Again, there are scissors on the outside, so the Wave has the scissors on the inside. So the Captain actually has the awl. They have the bit driver. And then they have this, a couple combo tools actually. So let's go ahead and bring this other combo tool out. So they have the screwdriver with a wire stripper. They have the larger screwdriver. And then they have this can opener. So actually the can opener isn't really a combo tool, it's just a can opener. So that's the one thing that Next Tool does differently than Leatherman. Leatherman just has, they have the can opener and the wire stripping notch, and Next Tool has decided to add a can opener separate and then a bottle opener with this screwdriver and a larger screwdriver. So the Leatherman Surge has their smaller screwdriver, the Leatherman Wave has a micro screwdriver, and this does not have either of those. 
And obviously it doesn't have the pair of scissors like the Wave does on the inside as well because they're on the outside. So for instance, let's look at the Leatherman Surge. Uh, here we go. This is the small screwdriver the Captain does not have. Otherwise, it's fairly similar. You've got your bit driver and then you've got your combination tool. And I don't have my bit in there at the moment. On the Leatherman Wave, you have, again, this combination tool, the bit driver, and then on this side, you've got the micro driver, you've got the scissors, and you have the large screwdriver. So on the Captain, they do, they sort of majored on the little bit larger uh, screwdrivers in that department. Now, the one thing, well, there's two more things I, that make a big difference between the Captain and these tools. Uh, one of the differences, before I forget, is price. So this is $53. It's cheaper on AliExpress, but on Next Tools own website, it's $53. Leatherman Surge, $150. Leatherman Wave, I think it's $120, $110 now. So this is a very cheap multi-tool. So basically, this is your in-between between these two. It sort of is a middle ground for a fraction of the price. It's a third of the price of the Surge. It's more than a half less than the Wave. And essentially, it is very close to both but you lose locking inner tools. And that's the other thing that is very disappointing. You lose, there's no locking tools. Now, some people have mentioned that you just fold this over and you can sort of lock it into place. I suppose you can, you can manipulate it to some extent, but to me, that's still not locking. I, I don't see any way that you can pull out any of these tools and lock it into place because then they're just in the way. It's, yeah, that, because then these are in the way. So I don't see any way at all that you can lock this in. So you can bend it over like so, sort of hold it in with your thumb. And it's not a bad system. I mean, Leatherman has the uh, curl that doesn't lock on the inside, so it's not the end of the world. And for many people overseas, they're used to tools not locking. But I guess what sort of confuses me is why do we have a knife that locks into place like so, but there's no locks for the inside tool. So that that is a little bit mind-boggling to me. I would think that it would be a lot more... Uh, dangerous in some countries and laws to have locking knife instead of tools, but I may be wrong. So this does a pretty good job. Now, when you really have to exert a lot of torque on it, then the tool, I did have issues. It's not doing it right now, but I did have issues with the tool bending over, but, uh, or, or failing, or not failing, but bending over like that. So, but it, the tools do work pretty good. So if you're not that worried about the lock, I don't think it's a huge end of the world deal. I still think this is a pretty good bargain price at $50. Now, the other thing is, unfortunately, I do really like the multi-force and how they added the full quarter inch bit driver. And for instance, here's the multi-force and they have the full quarter inch bit driver. And I have to tell you at work, it's just, it's a huge difference. When you have a locking bit driver that uses a full quarter inch bit, that is a lot better, at least in my book, than a skinnier, uh, like Leatherman style bit. Now these do fit in Leatherman as well. They're a little short and then leather bits, some fit in here, not all but the skinnier Leatherman bits do fit in here as well. So with this being a sort of in-between size tool, I would think this is one of the best places to put the quarter inch bit driver. But unfortunately that has not happened and it would be the best place to have locking tools because this might be used for harder work. But unfortunately, again, that did not happen. But Overall, it's a really nice tool. Again, for $50, pretty, pretty decent. And you do have the longer frame, but the pliers are a little shorter, so keep that in mind. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next video.